Uh, I mean, it's been it's been very exciting, just uh, an opportunity I have to uh, come back to my homestead and be able to possibly win a national championship here, which is uh, really great. It's uh, something you couldn't even think of, something you couldn't even script up in a movie. And I mean, you can't thank nobody but God for the opportunity that I have, but I have to go out there and execute and uh, make the most out of my chances. Uh, it's a very small town. It's like it takes a village to raise a kid. So I kind of knew everyone around there. And I mean, everyone was able to, like, like uh, back in the days, like if I was doing something, my neighbors were able to, to spank me and tell my mom things that sort. You know what I mean? It just kind of kept me humbled and kept me just, just made me who I am today. It made me appreciate things a little more. And I mean, just be grateful for the opportunity that you have in life because uh, just being a genius, uh, not too many people get the opportunity that I have in life. So I'm just very thankful and grateful just for that. And it really has just help me with my outlook on life. Uh, I mean, uh, it's, it's, it's pronounced ETN, that's the correct way, but uh, most people at home, they say Travis HN, I like A-C-H-A-N-E, but I mean, it's really pronounced ETN, and, uh, and once I got a chance to like, give people the correct pronunciation, I kind of just took heed with it. Uh, I, I, I mean, it's just great, but I mean, uh, it's in the past, and I mean, you can't really dwell on it because, man, you, you can't dwell on the what ifs because uh, not everything goes your way and the things of that sort. So, I mean, you just have to make the, mess, both, the most out of the opportunities. And uh, life is about how you respond to things, not uh, just worry about the things you can't control. And I mean, uh, it happened the way it happened. Uh, I mean, it worked out for both of us. We're both here in the national championship game. So, I mean, we're both better for it. I just felt like it was a great place. Uh, coach Elliott, he's a great coach. Uh, I knew he was going to challenge me to be a great player, but also a better man. And I, 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 I just wanted to grow as a great human. I wanted to grow just, just in all kind of ways spiritually. And I mean, Coach Elliott was a great person. And Coach Sweeney, uh, he definitely pours into you spiritually and things of that sort. So I mean, it's a great place for me. Uh, yes, sir. I, I kind of heard it through the media. Uh, kind of told me in my last uh, interviews, and I mean, I mean, uh, it is what it is. And I mean, uh, can't go back and change the past. But I mean, uh, definitely trying to rectify that with my little brother. They offer my little brother a scholarship, and I mean, uh, I do things differently. I mean, can't really, my situation not really happened, but hopefully they, they learned, and and uh, hopefully they just take heed with my little brother. Uh, it was no bad feelings at all. I mean, for me, it was no bad feelings at all. I mean, at the end of the day, it's the business. And uh, you have to definitely just know that in your mind. And I mean, I had to make be the best decision for me, not for anyone else, because I'm the one in those classes. I'm the one on the field grinding and things like that. So at the end of the day, it was no hard feelings. Ah, uh, no, not at all. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm, just, I'm just very thankful for the opportunity, man. Just can't wait to go out there and just uh, play football, play free football. I mean, just leave it all on the field for my brothers. And uh, I just want to thank God for the opportunity because out of him, I wouldn't be in this position today. Uh, honestly, I didn't. I grew up a uh, Tennessee Volunteer fan. I, I don't know how that came, came about, but I, I just uh, knew I liked the Tennessee Volunteers, uh, everything. I was really into them. As a kid growing up, but uh, when I visited there, I really didn't, really didn't like it much, and uh, things just kind of went elsewhere. I mean, uh, they, they, their colors definitely brought me there, but I mean, they, they, all, they had great players, great teams, and I mean, uh, I don't know, I just was always attracted to the uh, Volunteers. Patrick Queen said you guys are, are good friends. Can you talk about that a little? Bit? Uh, yeah, me and Patrick Queen was actually on the same uh, 707 team back in high school. We just, uh, we just always kept contact uh, throughout our college process and high school. So, I mean, we, we definitely talk a lot. Uh, we play the game together and things like that. So, I mean, we definitely have a, ha have a great connection. And I can't wait to go out there and just uh, battle against uh, my friend. Your next 
Yeah, I've always been ATM. Yes, sir. Uh, I mean, he, he he tries, but I kind of just kind of downplay him. Uh, not not really trying to get into that with him because uh, he definitely go on and on about it. Uh, he he like he likes to kind of showboat in my face and just uh, bring up things. And I mean, he definitely has upper hand on me, and that uh, and that. So I mean, shouts out to him. I mean, I can't really talk much smack back to him because I haven't done what he's done. Uh, I think a great running back is a running back who's. Uh, a third down guy, I mean, every down guy, being able to be on the field at all times and uh, be able to impact the game with and without the ball. And I, think, uh, I got you. Uh, just, just, just being able to uh, impact the game with or without the ball, and I feel that I am uh, transitioning to that role, uh, being able to help my team uh, whenever it is on the field. Uh, I, I mean, it's just been, it's, it's been like how it was all season. I mean, just uh, media's always been here, always around. So, I mean, it's nothing really different. Can't add added pressure onto yourself because uh, that's when I feel you're not really playing your best ball. So, I mean, you have to just uh, stay true to who you are and, and just trust the process and uh, just be extra focused in on the game plan and things of that sort. And, I mean, you can't really let the media overwhelm you because it can. Uh, so, I think at Clemson we have great media throughout the whole season. So, it really just helps us for this point. Uh, I mean, that just comes from knowing that uh, your emotions aren't going to win you the game. And I mean, you can play play from your emotions, but that isn't going to get it done. You have to play, um, you have to execute at the end of the day. And I mean, your emotions won't, won't help you with none of those things. I mean, it's definitely going to have you fired up and ready to go. But at the end of the day, you have to execute and play to the standard. Uh, definitely, I feel like I played about at least 15 to 20 guys uh, in high school that's on their team now. I mean, uh, Pat is the only one I kind of like really keep in touch with, but I mean, I, I, I remember in high school playing uh, Tyler Shelvin. I remember playing him. Uh, I played Todd Harris. And uh, I mean, a couple of other, other those defensive guys I uh, played them, uh, came across them in high school. Uh, I mean, uh, Alabama was close. Uh, playing the Alabama team last year, they was kind of close, but uh, I, I think this has surpassed them. Uh, I mean, uh, not really. It's uh, how to treat like another game. And I mean, at the end of the day, emotions aren't going to win you the game. So I mean, adding all the extra edit. Uh, uh, extra pressure, things of that sort, is not going to help me at the end of the day play the best ball that I can play. So I just have to simplify things as much as I can and, and, and just play from within. And I mean, you can't be uh, motivated by external factors. You have to be internally motivated. And I mean, that's what keeps me going. That's what keeps me being able to play the best four quarters of my life every week. Uh, I mean, Tyler Shelva, I, I just remember him running around on the field, just, just smacking dudes, me included. Uh, just, just a big guy. He was very fast back in high school, and I mean, he just a, explosive. Uh, just wreaking havoc on every play. So, uh, I, I, I mean, not, not much has changed either. I mean, you see him on film now, just being that same dude, just being able to create plays, wreaking havoc on anyone who gets in front of him. So, I mean, it's going to be a great matchup again.
uh, it's, it's going to be a great matchup. And I mean, you wouldn't want to end up to win a national championship game. I mean, this is they're the best team, and uh, we're the best team. We're both champions at the end of the day. So it's going to be a great game. And I mean, this is how you want it in a national championship. I mean, LSU is a defense of its own. They're a very unique defense. I mean, we don't really come out here comparing each defense week in and week out. I mean, you can't really get into that. But I mean, LSU presents uh, a, 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 a lot, a lot of various uh, looks and fronts and things like that sort. So I mean, it's definitely going to be a great challenge. And I mean, uh, you, you you can look at their stats.